Once you've mastered these exercises, you'll be part of the solution instead of part of the problem. You'll be helping keep public restrooms clean and helping keep your own butt free of urine and your hands free of other people's weird, gross toilet splashes. This video is for all the men out there who want to be considerate individuals, considerate human beings who care about the well-being of other men and also women in their lives. If you're a man who doesn't want to pee all over a toilet seat, but you find you don't have the physical ability to do it properly or safely in a public restroom, in today's video, I'm going to help you out. This video is going to help you stay cleaner, healthier, and live longer, happier lives. And it's going to help you have a happier girlfriend or wife because you are one of those guys who knows how to lift up the toilet seat. Well, at least you know how to do it and hopefully you put this into practice. So if you're ready, let's get ready to think right, move right, and feel right. I'm sitting in a park in Japan right now where they have the cleanest public restrooms in the entire developed world as far as I know. They've got bidets, electronic toilets in every public restroom, whether you're on a train, whether you are in a subway station, there is an automatic way to wash your butt after you use the bathroom. It's incredible. But if you live in the United States, you know how disgusting public restrooms normally are and how disgusting it can be to even think about lifting the toilet seat with your hands. Doing so would expose you to all kinds of diseases, viruses, bacteria, fungi, whatever, that could quite possibly kill you or at least give you an upset stomach. So if you're a man in a public restroom, you generally don't want to touch the seat. It seems like I shouldn't have to say this, but if you're a man, you really shouldn't be peeing on toilet seats. It's rude, it's inconsiderate, and one day you might need to be sitting on that toilet seat. Now, all the women out there watching this are probably thinking, seriously, do guys pee on toilet seats intentionally? That's kind of gross and short-sighted, isn't it? And the answer is yes, it is gross and short-sighted because those very same men might one day have children of their own that they need to put on the toilet seat, or they themselves might need to actually use that toilet seat and then that karma really sucks. If you are a considerate man who wants to lift the toilet seat before you pee in a public restroom, well, you better be able to do it with the trick that I'm gonna show you in this video. Instead of using your fingers, your poor, poor fingers to actually lift the seat, which I would never do, you use the side of your shoe, you use your foot to actually lift the toilet seat. I'm at a Mr. Donuts, which is just a chain donut shop in Japan, and even here, even though these are some of the cleanest toilets in the world, I still wouldn't use my hand to lift that seat up. I still use my foot. And yes, you should be impressed that this is a donut store's toilet. And it's like spotless in here. And nobody's peeing on those buttons. The best way to lift the toilet seat is to do it without even touching the walls, so no hands at all, because you don't know what's on the walls of the public restroom. This is best accomplished when you have a shoe on, but even if you have sandals on, you can use the side of the sole of your sandals to lift the toilet seat up. Now let's see if you're man enough to lift the toilet seat up with the side of your foot. So just stand next to a wall and use it to help you balance if you need it, and then you're gonna lift your foot up higher than at least the height of your other knee and hopefully higher than that. If you can get your foot up to about hip height, you're in great shape. And if you can do that without assistance from the wall, you're doing really well. So you wanna be able to just use your foot, lift up, no hands touching anything. If you cannot do this, if you can't lift your foot up to at least knee height, you're probably not going to be able to lift the toilet seat up. But if you can lift your foot up all the way, you'll be able to do that toilet seat perfectly cleanly and safely. If you failed this test, then you're gonna wanna do some exercises to strengthen your balance and your ability to create hip flexion. So easy way to do this is stand next to a wall and put your hand on that wall and then lift up with one leg, just mimicking the entire motion. So you have your leg turned out a little bit and you're gonna be lifting the foot up and then reaching forward to kind of push that toilet seat back. Now you wanna practice this five to 10 slow controlled repetitions on each leg and make sure you do both sides just in case you end up in a toilet where you don't really have the use of your dominant leg. Seriously, you never know what could happen in a dirty public restroom. Hey, I wanna take one second to say a huge thank you to Deborah, Deborah, and Jonah for their generous donations via my website at uprighthealth.com donate. You can go there too if you wanna 
support this channel too, I would really appreciate it. And while you're there, you can also get a free course with free follow along workouts and free information to help you rebuild your body at home. You can check it out. It's the BRB course, the Body Rebuilding Basics. You'll find it on my website. I hope you sign up. I hope you enjoy and that your body gets stronger. And be sure, of course, to subscribe to this channel wherever you are watching it, but probably it's on YouTube. Thanks so much. And now let's get back to the video. Do one to two sets on each leg. And when you first start off with these, I'd suggest doing that two days a week. So Monday, Thursday, or Tuesday, Saturday. And then over time, you can just bump up the frequency as it feels comfortable and doable for you. If it feels like you can do more, absolutely do more. And then work on getting your leg up higher and higher in case you end up in the land of giants. Like I assume Norway probably has really, really tall toilets and toilet seats that are above my shoulder. As you get better and better at this exercise, stop using help from the wall. And then when you wanna make it even harder, or do longer holds at the top position. And if you wanna make it even harder, you can wear heavy shoes or heavy boots or put an ankle weight on and build even more strength in your hip flexors and leg muscles. Once you've mastered this, you'll be able to lift toilet seats up with just the side of your foot, keeping your hands clean, keeping you healthy, and keeping your loved ones much happier with you end up using this trick at home. Once you've mastered these exercises, you'll be part of the solution instead of part of the problem. You'll be helping keep public restrooms clean and helping keep your own butt free of urine and your hands free of other people's weird gross toilet splashes. Let me know how you did with this test and let me know how it goes after you've been doing the exercises for a few weeks and let me know how it feels now that you have the ability to lift that toilet seat up and keep everything clean for everyone. And if you want more ways to improve your hip mobility and build lower body strength, be sure to go to uprighthealth.com slash DIY and check out the Healthy Hips program. It'll help you rebuild your hips and legs at home. For more free videos to help you with your body, be sure to check these out here. Like, share, and subscribe with the bell notification on. And as always, I hope you remember that pain sucks, life shouldn't.